What makes someone pick a low tier? Frank is a gimmick. What makes them struggle against every conceivable odd to win with a character who just isn't that good? Just what were they thinking with this guy? There's a simple answer. It's because when everyone says your character sucks, when everyone says you shouldn't win, when almost no one believes in you, that's when a win becomes a true victory. The oh. on the throw with the anti air. It's gonna be so close you We're have to go to life. Ah! Ah! With the poison, plus the gray out of the bomb off. Mono is going to top eight. Oh, no, no, is he gonna so finish the job? Yes, he is! This is Mono moving on! You cannot activate here if you're Mono. Tuck away from the EX. Mono needs this. The oh. champ is for Mono as he takes his upper punch and solidifies his spot in Grand Finals winner's side. His country is popping up, but they're here. Mono at home, they're all popping up. Tier lists have existed since basically day one of competitive gaming, which means that for the better part of three decades, people have been warning new players to avoid shitty characters. Just pick a top tier. <laughs> you wanna win, yo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even like Barog like that no more, man. Just pick him, yo, pick, pick a top tier. No matter what game you play, you're guaranteed to eventually run into someone trying and probably failing to make a low tier work. See, there's a certain honor to picking low tiers. Think about it. Winning with a character who just shouldn't win can be proof that you're a more skilled player than your opponent. But low tier victories don't happen very often. Mordo coming in, smelling some blood. Anti air is good with the air to air. Whatever it is, he's bleeding right now. Oh, he is definitely bleeding. He's bleeding purple. Oh, the exchange is. Oh, dude, what? Oh and my god! <laughs> Men RD Men RD be wins by a pixel. That extra health coming in handy. The low tier main in that heartbreaking loss is Mono PR, Street Fighter V's most dedicated Fung main. Fung has been one of Street Fighter V's worst characters since day one. Depending on who you ask, he's still the worst. And I, I don't know if anyone is gonna disagree with me here. Just what were they thinking with this guy? Just what, I, I, I frequently forget this character is in this game. Now, let's be real here. In most people's eyes, Fung is absolute trash. He's slow, his damage is low, his frame data is garbage, he basically has no defensive abilities, his combos are overly complicated for basically no reward, both his V-skills are mostly useless, and his whole gimmick, his ability to slowly damage enemies over time with poison, can't actually kill anyone. On top of all of that, he looks ridiculous. He's a seven foot tall stick man who flaps his arms around like a bird, makes little poison clouds that do almost nothing, and then does a little shimmy if he somehow manages to win. So it shouldn't be surprising that Fung is literally the least played character in the game. And yet, Mono has dedicated the last few years of his life to Fung. Out of all the characters, I was just checking who has consistent anti or normals and good mobility, and to me it was Fong, even though he had uh, little damage. Mono isn't some new up-and-coming young player. He's been a pillar of the Puerto Rican FGC for years, and he actually runs the scene's biggest tournament. So I run First Attack in Puerto Rico, which is like the big, uh, the biggest event here in the Caribbean. First Attack used to be only fighting games, but now First Attack has been, ever since it started growing, a lot of people in Puerto Rico see it as the esports event of Puerto Rico, not, no longer like the fighting game event. But Puerto Rico isn't exactly known for their fighting game prowess. Their top players don't get to travel as often as players from Japan and North America, so many wouldn't consider it a top tier region. And Mono isn't some chronic low tier man. He actually started off Street Fighter V with a much higher tier pick. Right. And in SF5, he actually played Dictator and then dropped him when Dictator got buffed. What are you doing? <laughs> But once Mono made the switch to Fung, he had his work cut out for him. Remember, no one plays Fung. There's not a lot of tech out there to study. And in fact, most of the top players who used to play Fung switched off the character a long time ago. So Mono was one of the few players creating all of the Fung tech. And he had to get a little creative to optimize the character. I see like a, a super huge punish with Akira on Rose. And then I'm like, hey, I wonder, I think I think Fong can actually recreate something like that or that situation. I think Fong could do something that, and I just theorize it. I just test it out and I find stuff like that because it's 
that's because I told people that play Fong. I'm like, it's really hard to just find all the matchups with Fong in YouTube. Like it's, it's because he's an uncommon character. But Mono couldn't devote all his time to mastering a weak character. I don't have the same time available as many of the professional players to just dedicate only to playing. Like I play, but I also produce. Mono did his best to go to as many tournaments as possible and became the face of Fung mains everywhere. But he quickly became known as one of the best Fung mains in the world. And then the pandemic hit, throwing the entire FGC into chaos. Tournaments went on a line, introducing lag to matches, which made tricky characters like Fung even more difficult to play. And yet, Mono started popping off. Poison could be ironed up as well. Yeah, just stayed coward Ooh. crouching and then dodges it in the sky as well. I can't believe he made it through that. <laughs> that was so slick, my man's kept it composed. Oh, this is actually dangerous for right now. Oh. Oh. Okay, it could have been even worse. Uses one EX, still gets hit, and Mono brings it all the way back to take a 2-0 victory over DRA. It puts himself at top eight winner's bracket, continuing that momentum indeed. Unfortunately, those incredible wins were quickly followed by close, crushing losses. Okay, stealing a bit of a turn was Mono there, rather than just the medium he usually does. Oh, this is a punish. Oh. This is Mena. Mena's in now. That's all he needed was one opportunity here. Trades on the wake up. Tries to meet it with the air to air. Doesn't get it, but he doesn't get a grounded hit either. So scrambles on scrambles. But no charge. My goodness, it's so unfortunate. They have the charge rate because the cross up blows that up and resets with the throw. He's able to take the live lead from it. He's going in. Oh, Thrown out of the roundhouse. I can't believe it. He's in big trouble. Oh. There's Mena sealing the deal. Three games to one. Mono's solid online placements earned him a spot at Red Bull Kumite Las Vegas, one of the first major offline tournaments after years of online play. Even offline, though, Mono just couldn't crack the top players. No neutral November. I'm going to start. I'm gonna start celebrating now. Ah, he tried to shimmy uh. him. Capcom, please. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Mono is Oh, man. Hard. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, what is this? What's gonna happen? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, you oh, are God. God. You did that. Brian L. Right now. Did you just do that? You are a bad man. Despite Mono's incredible skill, it seemed like Fung couldn't take him to the top. But then something crazy happened. Red Bull Kumite was a big deal, but it was a closed invitational, something that many in the FGC might not consider a real tournament. No, to them, a real tournament is a grueling double elimination bracket where hundreds of players vie for dominance. And CEO 2021 was gonna be the first one of those big offline brackets in years, with 453 players in attendance. Mono showed up, ready to play, alongside dozens of his countrymen. But that meant the pressure was on. Obviously, I wanted to do good because of the fact that, I mean, I'm with the team. I don't want to be like going with the team and I'm their number one Street Fighter representative and I don't make it out of pools. So I was like a little worried because I'm like, I really want to make it out of pools. Mono didn't have too much to worry about. He had a clean run through pools, 2 owing every opponent he faced to make it to top 24 on day two of the tournament. But now he had to start facing down some serious competition from top players playing top characters. But Mono didn't care. Got so away from good. one throw and landed one of his own. Now Mono has the likely end an anti air. Two bars to kill with. He can set up a trap here. He did, but the jump out was so huge. Yes, that's but amazing. Backdashing of fierce. He has Mono is another activation, activation here. Yep, there it is. V shifting out. Nephew and now completely resourceless. Oh, he can't the crush. the crush either. Still no meter. The jump oh. out on the throw with the anti air. It's going to be so close. You We're have to run for away. Life. Ah! Ah! With the poison plus the gray out of the bomb up. Mono is going to top eight. Because I have never been able to to get to crack into that CEO entrance. I've always loved the concept. I've never been able to get it. And I've always would be like a top 16, almost close to top 16, almost close to top eight, almost close to top 32, but never top eight. Making top eight was beyond anything anyone could have predicted for Mono. And he made his entrance in style, repping his underappreciated local scene. I host most of the tournaments in Puerto Rico, but like, you know, using venues and stuff. So I would, at uh, weeklies, I would do in my apartment and I was like, well, I can fit up to maybe 12, maybe 16 people. So I was doing like 16 man brackets on the weekdays. I did the first one and it was it, uh, more than 16 people came because others just wanted to see it. 
And I had water. People would be like, oh, can I get a water? Yeah, sure. No matter. And they would go to the fridge and get a, get a bottle of water because I'd buy cases, right? But I lived with roommates. So the next day when I wake up, the roommates are like, yo, where are all the water bottles that we bought? And I'm like, you're kidding me. Because some people actually went to the fridge and they didn't let me know that they were going to get a water. So the next event, I'm like, okay, so I'm just going to charge at least $1 for the bottle of water so I can replenish and buy cases obviously because they're consuming and they're not bringing their own water so but then it just became a joke because people are like oh you go to mono's house and he charges you the water in the summer i was doing puerto rico's first like esports league with street fighter and the last day we actually had bottle of waters and they had like my face in it then one of the puerto ricans that was with me that knows about the story says like we should do this too because they're all gonna know why we did it but mono had some tough matches ahead of him First came Joe Umarogan, an up and coming Akuma main. Like Mono has it shown him time and time again, you can't do that. Ooh, Sweet, walk up, beat the edge you can't station. walk back. Almost done. One more touch to try to open up and get it done. The universal had to come through the stable of the stun. But look, look, at, look how at the poison ticket. Oh, no oh, man, is he going to finish the job? Yes, he is. This is Mono moving on in front of his family, taking down Joe Umarogan, the other Dark Lord, sealing it. After barely making it into winners' finals, Mono had to face off against his biggest challenge yet, Punk. Punk is, without a doubt, one of the best Street Fighter V players in the world. So there's no denying that Punk is like, of all time Street Fighter V, the greatest in my opinion, rivaled by Tokido as Me that's too. the one Me guy. Too. The stats peg him as the third best Street Fighter V player of all time. He's got countless tournament wins and grand finals appearances in both Capcom Cup and EVO. He's an absolute monster that no one wants to face in bracket. In fact, he's so good that up until winner's finals, Punk was casually dumpstering his opponents, no names and top players, by beating them with Vega, another low tier pick. Hold on now, with the activation, that's where Punk has been suffering. Is it gives his feature attack? He's out of there to jump! Oh Mr. no! The, the chase down? That's, that's it. Break. He cannot it's deal over. enough damage it's anymore. It's definitely over. Punk gonna take this with a time up for the first game. B shift in play, and you gotta hold this. Punk takes it over Grifty. Going into that winners finals match with Mono on one side and Punk on the other, it seemed pretty clear who was gonna win. Mono was using one of the worst characters in the game to go up against one of the best players in the world. But there's a reason low tier mains stick to their guns. There's a reason we keep playing our bad characters even though everyone tells us not to. Because we believe. And Mono believed that Fung could take whatever Punk threw at him. He has a really good Vega, he has a really strong Vega. But how much does he know Vega Fong is a very is a very big thing if he knows the intricacies of what he can punish, what I can punish that he hasn't seen because Maybe he's played with other Fongs, but not maybe to the level that I play it. You cannot activate here if you're Mono. Jump away from the EX. Mono needs this. The oh! jump in from Mono as he takes his upper punch and solidifies his spot in Grand Finals winner's side. His country's popping up. Whether they're here, whether they're at home, they're all popping up. Mono sending Nephew to losers in top 16. He's not done with Panda. He's not done. Not done with He's Panda. Not done. Grand Finals. Mono did it. He was locked into Grand Finals, guaranteed at least a second place finish. But second place was a place Mono knew all too well. Fung might love the number two, but a true competitor wants more. Mono wanted to win it all, and he'd have to face his demons again to pull it off. After his upset loss to Mono, Punk switched off the Vega he was using to troll the tournament and went back to the top tier character that made him famous, Karin. Nephew has him in the corner. Activation, but Punk has super. Right, and this could, could we see the patented? Oh man. And I better hear y'all say it. Uh... And I better hear y'all say it. Cause that's gonna be a super situation. Punk with the victory over Nephew. Three, one to get it done and put himself in grand finals to fight Mono once again for the run back. Karin has long been considered one of the best characters in the game, and she fits Punk's playstyle perfectly. It's just Punk on Karin, man, that punk, that's, that's built different. That is the loadout of player and character that fundamentally changed the way this game is played. 
She's fast, with long buttons that help her whiff punish things like Fong's long, slow limbs. Her damage is extremely high, helping her kill off of errant hits, and even when a character like Fong corners her, she has spectacular defensive tools. Basically, Karin is one of Fung's worst matchups, and Punk is easily the best Karin player in the world. On top of that, Punk was angry, since, like any great player, he hates losing. So this wasn't just a rematch. It was personal. The Grand Finals meant a lot to Mono. This was his chance to break his second place curse, his chance to prove to the world that in the right hands, Fung could do anything. I know I can beat this character. I wasn't sure if I could beat Punk, but I know I could beat the character. Rekka's Rekka pressure is respected. We backdash. The poison continuing to tick away here. So Mono games that he could take it, but it's getting harder and harder. That B-Skill is helping out, though. Don't whip a damn button. I said don't whip a damn button! And with all that gray life, we're going to die for the just the two bars. We don't even need to cash out with the super. A second game on the board for Punk. Building a little bit of extra bar even with that knockdown. That should close out this round. I think Don't no drop, drop. But he finds a fierce anyway to face Punk with the reset. Punk demolished Mono. It wasn't even close. Punk reset the bracket with a vicious 3-0 and everyone thought the tournament was basically over. Sure, Mono had another set to work with, but after a loss that decisive, it didn't seem like there was anything he could do to run it back. And yet, Mono's belief in Fung was infectious. Everyone wanted him to win. Are people booing right now? They're booing him. They, is They're that what booing. I'm hearing? He's the villain. He's, they, the, he's villain. the villain. Because it's Mono's story. It's Mono's story. He's, he's a protagonist, bro. Like, I had the headset on, but I could hear the, the chants with Mono. And it was no longer that small crowd of Puerto Ricans on the side. It was literally a lot of people in the venue. And I was like, this is surreal. What the crowd didn't realize, though, is that Mono wasn't just losing. He was getting the download on Punk. So I, I'm confident that Fong can beat Karen. I just I, I felt that when I lost the set, I'm like, you don't have to change, you just have to adjust. Mono didn't switch characters. He didn't make massive changes in his playstyle. He just went into the second set ready to play. Win or lose, he was fighting for low-tier mains everywhere. And he didn't miss. Let's come off the feet with the sweep. Try to open him up. That door looking easy to bust open. Oh, the medium just commit just yet. Oh, oh, the EX too far out. Is he going to be able to close it out for the game? Yes, yes he is. A game on the board for Mono. We're at a point where this is one touch for either player. Gets away down. with the EX dash. Any poke will do it for He's Mono. There. Back and away. It's the, the same thing. Same, it's the same, same thing, thing from the winner's side. Mono on two thing. games post bracket reset. In part to get the poison stacks away, which means that we're not going to miss it. The DP gets baited. Just touch rising. He drops a combo though. Mono backing away. EX no, he ran into it. This and is one, one guy. If the throw is going to do it. Do Mono is the champion. champion. Street Fighter Five. 2021 gets it done! Mono is the hero of the day! Mono's win was more than a crowning achievement for him as a player. He helped legitimize the Puerto Rican scene, proving that it's a region to be feared and respected. But more importantly, he reminded everyone that tier lists are just about which character has the easiest time winning. I feel that in Street Fighter V, especially right now where it is, I feel like you can technically play any character. It's just, it's a matter of how you approach the matchups because sometimes there are, there are things with players like the, the most important thing in, in in every fighting game is not necessarily how you play the characters or what the characters offer but it's more so how fast you can adapt mono's run stands as undeniable proof that low tier mains can win that even when everyone tells you your character sucks even when everyone tells you you made the wrong choice Hard work and true skill can always triumph. Like they said that I was like an example of the fact that they, that it can be done, that you can have other stuff going on, but you can, if you dedicate the time or, or it's not out how much time, but the quality of the time that you dedicate to the game, then you're able to pull something like this off. And so I think both David and I would like to have a formal apology to Mono about telling him to switch away from Fong, otherwise he'll never win a major tournament. And uh, <laughs> shout outs to Mono, dude. <laughs> it is, it is, I mean, it, like Japanese wise, it's, it's cutting, but like you just say Karin, it's fine. She's not a real person. She's not gonna get upset, you know? <laughs>
gonna Yeah, she's not gonna <laughs> come out of your screen and tenko you. I know how much you want to be stepped on by Karin, Andrew. That's clearly the vibe I got there, but...